Another basic one. It's another basic topic. Finally, isa pang basic. After ng mahirap, merong basic. So good day everyone and welcome for another lesson here in Statistics and Probability. So our lesson for today is now under Chapter 5, Test of Hypothesis Basic Concepts in Hypothesis Testing. There are two main objectives to hit for today, which is to illustrate the null and alternative hypothesis, level of significance, rejection region, and type of errors. And then for the second one, we are going to identify the parameter to be tested given a real-life problem. There are also two sub-objectives that we are going to hit today, which is to appropriately differentiate type 1 from type 2 error, and then to construct the null and alternative hypothesis of a given study. So let's say your friend told you that the country or the Philippines will experience El Nino phenomenon in the next few months. Will you believe your friend? The pronouncement above is a claim that may be true or false. Such claim could be referred to as a statistical hypothesis. Now, a statistical hypothesis is a claim or a conjecture that may either be true or false. So either tama yung kaibigan mo o mali yung kaibigan mo. After being given the claim, you now have two things to do, which is to decide if it's true or false. And then you have an action, which is to either accept the claim or reject the claim. In example, we have the statement, the country will experience El Nino phenomenon in the next few months. So it's either the country will experience or the country will not experience. The first statement is what we call a null hypothesis, while the second statement is what we call an alternative hypothesis. So the difference between null and alternative hypothesis is here on our table. We have the null hypothesis is the statement claim or conjecture to be tested, while your alternative hypothesis is the claim that is accepted when the null hypothesis is rejected. For the symbols for null hypothesis, you have H sub 0. For alternative hypothesis, it can be H sub 1 or H sub A. Your null hypothesis denotes absence, such as absence of difference, absence of relationship, or equality to a certain value while your alternative hypothesis denotes presence, such as presence of difference, presence of relationship, or inequality to a certain value. In symbols, your null hypothesis is equal, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Your alternative hypothesis in symbols is not equal to, you have greater than or less than. For example, a report showed that senior high school students read their modules in statistics for 25 minutes per day. Our null hypothesis would be SHS students read their stat modules for 25 minutes per day. Our alternative hypothesis would be SHS students read their stat modules not for 25 minutes per day. So if it's not for 25 minutes per day, it can either be for less than 25 minutes per day or for more than 25 minutes per day. So let's try to put these statements of our null and alternative hypothesis in symbols. For our null hypothesis, that can be mu equals 25. For our alternative hypothesis, that is mu not equal to 25. And then for less than, that's mu less than 25. And for more than, that's mu greater than 25. Your equal can also mean that there is no significant difference or relationship, while your not equal to can also mean that there is a significant difference or a significant relationship. So if it's one tailed to the left or left tailed, you have your parameter less than the value. Next, you have if it's one tailed to the right or right tailed, you have parameter greater than the value. And if you have two tail, you have parameter less than the value and parameter greater than the value. So the null and alternative hypothesis are complementary and must not overlap. If your alternative hypothesis has the symbols of greater than or less than, automatic one tailed na yon. So one tail test, if your alternative hypothesis has the symbol less than, edi, one tail yon to the left or left tail. If your alternative hypothesis has greater than, edi, 
one tailed yon to the right or right tailed where your parameter is greater than the value. So the table here shows that there are no errors committed when we reject a false hypothesis and when we fail to reject a true hypothesis. On the other hand, the error is committed by rejecting a true hypothesis. This is called a type 1 error denoted by the symbol alpha or the Greek letter A, while the error committed by failing to reject or accepting a false hypothesis is called a type 2 error denoted by the symbol beta, which is also the Greek letter for B. So surprisingly, we are done with Chapter 5 lessons that is basic concepts and hypothesis testing. Basic.